Um, I was actually just talking to our next guest about his awesome, cool product. Thomas Braun is here with us right now, CEO and President of Verisan Technology. And now, I'm, I'm a scientific idiot, so I'm going to say this wrong, but you have a machine, a product. It's a machine. Yes. That can detect skin cancer. Yes. Okay, it's brilliant. And to me, that's all I need to know. But explain to everybody else how it works. Okay. Well, we're going after skin cancer because two million Americans get skin cancer every year. Yes. It is the most common cancer. Wow. Every hour, an American dies of melanoma. Every hour. What? That's right. So it's very important to detect it early. If you catch it early, you have an almost 99% chance of survival. If you catch it late, that drops to 15%. At the same time, the cost of treating the melanoma goes up 22 times. It goes from $5,000 to $110,000 to treat it. So we're gonna save lives, we're gonna save money. We have a device that has a probe that you point at the suspicious lesion. It tells you in under a second whether or not that lesion should be biopsied. The machine and that's is called. What's the machine called? It's called the Aura. Aura, the okay. The Verisant Aura because your skin is all around you. I love it. Now, um, accuracy level. Yes. Well, our preliminary results were published in 2008, and out of the first 274 lesions, there were 34 melanomas, and the device detected all 34. Really? Yeah. So now, on a larger data set that is about to be published now, we expect that we are not going to maintain it 100%, but we're still going to be a, a lot better than doctors just doing it with their eyes. Doctors need tools to help them detect melanoma, and in fact, our device detects all skin cancers. Okay. It does. Yes. Now, let's tell me now about, about where it, where you are in the process of getting this out. It's patented, I presume. It's patented. It's covered by six patents in Canada and the United States, and we're in the process of filing more patents around the world. We've conducted a six-year study at Vancouver General Hospital on about a thousand lesions. We're just in the process of getting approval in Canada, Europe, and Australia, and then we'll be seeking approval in the United States. So it's not here yet in the United States? It's not here yet in the United States. Are you a publicly traded company? We are. We're on the Toronto Venture Exchange. The stock symbol is VRS. In the United States, we trade on the OTC Quality Exchange. V R S E F. V R S E F. F. Correct. Okay, but you're on the OTC exchange. Yes. Okay, so I think this is so cool. Are you getting, uh, you know, are, are people interested in this? Or are you getting pushback from the FDA here? People are very interested in it, and what the FDA is saying is, you're a, you're from Canada. Get approved by Health Canada first, then come and talk to us. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we do what the FDA tells us to. I know. I guess everybody does, but. The notion, though, that we need this here in the United States, to me, I would think that the FDA would be somewhat interested in all this. They're very interested in new technologies that are going to save lives and save money, especially now that the government yeah. has extended health care to everybody. Yeah. This is going to save the taxpayers a lot of money. What do you do? I mean, did you have, you have a, you're, you're an attorney. Um, I'm, an, I'm a securities lawyer by training, that's right. And I had many people in my family who had been passing away from cancer, Ugh. aunts and uncles. I lost an aunt to cancer when she was 42 years old, lung cancer. And so when I found out about this concept of imaging cancer, much like an x-ray or an ultrasound can be used to image other diseases, I was so intrigued, I thought this is going to be a huge winner, and I've been pursuing it ever since. I started the company in 2006, and I've been the president of it ever since. So you, you're from Canada, though. Correct. Okay. So and, I mean, I just think it's a wild story that you just left law to pursue this. That's right. And now you're dealing though with all the rules and regulations of getting a product out there. I mean, that must be disheartening on some level. It's it's difficult, but it has to be difficult because the public has to be protected because there's all yeah, sorts of enough. charlatans out there and snake oil salesmen. So the regulators are just doing their job. They're gatekeepers and they're doing the job they get paid to do. Thomas, are you going to move this into other cancers? Yes. We have an, a whole pipeline for lung cancer, colon cancer, cervical cancer. We have the exclusive rights for all of those. And a lung cancer study has already started at the Lung Tumor Center at Vancouver General Hospital. The first 50 patients have been done. The results are very encouraging, but we haven't published them yet, so I can't say more than that. Please come back and tell us.
I'd love to. Oh, I'd love to hear more about this. And uh, maybe we can get you off the OTC and get you a, get you a nice big company that trades on the NASDAQ <laughs> someday. Yeah. That would That'd be, really, be nice. Wouldn't yeah. that? Yeah. That'd be great. Thomas, you're awesome. Okay, Thomas thanks. Braun, CEO and President of Versant Technology. And the OTC ticker, again, was VRSEF. Is that correct? Correct. Thomas, thanks for being with us. Thanks. That's great. I love that.